Run Junkies, it is finally April, Wait, so um, here's what, what, what? It's what? April 22nd. Alright. What do you mean it's April 22nd? It's April 22nd right now. So I guess it's been a while since I've posted. Okay, so since it's been a while, since my last personal update, I have a lot to catch you up on apparently, so here it goes. We went to Florida for spring break, which included Universal Orlando, Kennedy Space Center, and Naples to see my family. We were back for a short week before we then headed to Austin, Texas for my brother's wedding, where I wanted to go for a run, but for some reason the weather decided to be crummy while we were there, and then I taught scuba last week. On top of that, I only missed a couple of my extra bonus runs, so otherwise I've been pretty much on track. And since it is apparently almost the last week of April, I'm wondering, where is spring? We have not had any April showers. Well, until I had to do my longest run of this training cycle, which was yesterday. Today's long run brought to you by spring. Yes, welcome to spring in Colorado. Today was supposed to be a 15 mile run with five miles, the last five miles at half marathon race pace. I felt fantastic through the first 10 miles. I averaged a faster pace for that entire 10 miles, which is probably why by the time I got to the last five miles, I could not maintain that half marathon pace. By the time I hit the 10 mile mark and I'm out there, it's by sheer force of will that I'm still out here. I haven't hit even 14 miles yet. I'm gonna be happy if I get whatever I get. It has been like this all morning long cold but not like sub-freezing. It's just miserable, sloppy, wet, uncomfortable. And I thought, you know, three hours or 15 miles, whatever comes first. Technically, I'm supposed to still be running. I'm over it. Uh, that's how today's long run went. I may never get warm for the rest of the day. And I guess if we really want to talk about spring, this happened on Tuesday. We had 60 mile an hour gusts and there were trampolines and porta potties literally blowing down the street. And I never thought I would say this, but I'm actually excited for hot weather. Okay, so now that we are back and we are trying to find some sense of normal again in the midst of all of these crazy weather changes, here's where I sit for the Ogden Half Marathon. We are currently four weeks out and I have had quite a few of these half marathon race pace miles. I've been able to sustain that for about five miles depending on the day. I'm definitely seeing improvement overall and my race pace miles are coming consistently except Yesterday was a little different. I was supposed to do 15 miles yesterday with the last five of those being at that goal half marathon race pace of about 945 minute miles. And I literally could not make my legs go any faster. I wasn't hitting those paces no matter how hard I tried and it was just a struggle to stay out there for as long as I did. But here's why that training run, that long run, was designed the way it is. So for 15 miles, you're doing your long run and then the last five miles are at that goal half marathon race pace. Well, the reason is, is that you are trying to hit those paces when your legs are already tired. So that's the point of this workout and I just was not hitting it. It's that type of workout that during this training cycle has been the most challenging for me, hitting those goal race pace miles at the end of a workout. That has been the hardest for me and I keep seeming to miss the mark. The other milestone I hit this week was the 400 mile mark on the Run the Year 2018 Challenge. As some of you know, I am participating in 2018 miles for this year and I am participating on a team for that, which is great. And my personal goal was to run and or walk 100 miles every month. So I hit that mark early this month. But I did have a few standout workouts for the month and I wanna tell you why, kind of really quickly, why some of them were standout workouts. The first is actually a set of workouts that I got to go running when I was down in Florida. It was just really nice to run in a completely different climate, in a completely different place, and just to get that change of scenery. 
wearing. It was really nice to get out of my rut and run someplace else. Another highlight was a record setting run that I had and I actually set a PR on the 5K. And it was during a run that weather was perfect, the conditions were perfect, I felt really good, and I was running very, very well. So that's kind of a victory for me. But the rest of the runs this month have been mentally challenging because I'm juggling schedules and dealing with weather and just trying to make it all fit into my schedule and I have no routine what whatsoever and it has that is kind of how I'm marking the spring of 2018. Lastly though I am adding a few things back into my training schedule most notably yoga because while I want to add some strength training back in I feel like I have a lot of work to do to get to that point and I don't want to get myself hurt or sore in the midst of this training season. So I've been doing yoga almost every day for the month of April and I have noticed a big change. I'm a little bit more flexible. I'm not as prone to injury and it feels really good just to stretch out after a run. On those days when I'm not running, I will add a strength session of yoga into the mix and it's been a challenge. It's been a good challenge, but I am trying to get back into a regular schedule, not just with my runs, but with these videos. So here is what's coming up. On Tuesday, I'm gonna talk about how you determine your pace. How fast should you be running and for what types of workouts? It's kind of a complex issue, so I wanna spend a little time talking about that. Also coming up this week, I will be talking to Coach Christine Hinton in a video chat, and I'll be bringing that to you on Thursday, but I'll be chatting with her on Monday night. So if you have any questions for her, please leave those in the comment section down below. I also will be talking with her about coming back to running after a major setback like injury or surgery. So if you haven't already, please subscribe so you don't miss that interview with Coach Christine. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me that thumbs up. Congratulations to all of the First Order Challengers and those participants in the Run Disney Star Wars weekend. That is it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Go find your awesome. Until next time, happy running.